Uh, I'd like to now introduce uh, Noel Lawrence, who is the curator of the JX Williams Archive, uh, uh, the first offering on tonight's program. Noel. Thank you. All right. Hey, everybody. All right. Let me tell you a little bit more about uh, what I am going to show tonight. So we're just showing this very, very um, obscure film from the archive that normally I don't show at all, in fact. Here's the story. Um, supposedly, in the 1970s, James Williams uh, made a film called Sex Crimes of the 21st Century. And um, I even there were even notes, supposedly, that are attributed to him. Though, as I say, I'm not really sure if he really said this, and I'll explain later. But uh, what he said here was that, uh, I fled the US because of an obscenity rap again, and was doing a porn shoot up north in Toronto. I actually had a respectable budget for once, and we flew in some top talent like John Holmes and Marilyn, Marilyn Chambers. Wow. We even had enough money to commission a bizarre electronic soundtrack by some local goof named Bruce Hawk, who recorded, get this, children's records for a living. <laughs> the production was unremarkable besides the presence of an uncredited producer who later cast Marilyn in a horror film he directed. And I assume he's referring to David Cronenberg there, but he doesn't mention that. Uh, I even lent him outtakes of her to use in his film. Anyway, I only have the first 10 minutes of a film. I don't know what happened to the rest, but the film wasn't very good anyhow. Now, that's a supposedly what James Williams said, but I got to be honest with you. One of the things that I do in the James Williams archive is um, I, you know, we hold films that are made by James Williams and certify them. You know, that they're up to the standards of you know, uh, being a decent print and being, you know, the art artist's attentions, and they're actually by J.X. Williams. And all the time, I'm presented with scraps of film that are attributed to J.X. Williams that aren't actually by J.X. Williams. And I'll tell you why this happens. Because as you know, uh, this, this film on eBay sold for $2,000. And that was like seven or eight years ago, and there's a lot more attention to his name these days. And so there's unscrupulous art collectors who are basically, you know, claiming they have prints of J.X. Williams films, but they aren't J.X. Williams films. And some are basically just forgeries, you know, like the same guy, El Rey, you know, forged Picasso. You know, there's that guy, you know, that Dutch guy who forged Rembrandt in the 30s. I can't mm -hmm. remember his name right now. That Van Meeger or something? You know the guy I'm talking about? Right. Well, anyway, so yeah, the film I'm showing now, I've got to be honest with you, it hasn't been certified by the archives as a genuine J.X. Williams film. In fact, I'm beginning, becoming more and more convinced that it's not. But, <laughs> like, but don't feel bad. Here's the thing. You know how you go to an art museum and there's an unsigned painting that says, like, School of Rembrandt? Well, this is School of J.X. Williams. I don't know where it came from. It does have his name on it, but I don't really believe it's him. But this is something that um, he might have done, might not have done, I don't know. Um, all I know is, is that like um, an art collector sold this to me. He didn't ask for too much money. It hasn't been certified by the archive, which is why I, usually I don't really show it to anyone. But um, you know, Bruce, who's not here tonight, he's the one to blame because he really wanted me to show this film. So I'm going to show it to you, and you're going to get really rare opportunity because J.X. Williams films are really rare. But showing J.X. Williams forgeries is even more rare. So <laughs> good and you're getting a special treat tonight. <laughs> Like me, you know, 
bad comedy, bad cinematography. <laughs> Made by a bad Two of the great porn stars in history and make a bad porn movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this, How did we meet Jay Swayze? I was doing an investigation of him on gangster rock, uh, racketeering. Damn. Sorry, back, 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 yeah, back in the early 70s in the Midwest. He was involved with Sam Giancana and the Mafia up in Chicago. And yeah, he got involved with him through pornography. And well, I did hear about that. Oh, you know, that is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> soundtrack in another film, but, you know, it is possible, perhaps, that, um, you know, he was, he was taking it from somewhere else. I don't know. I just don't really know. Um, but I, I'm sorry, I can't really answer your question. I mean, he recorded this so many years ago. Bruce Hawk's dead now. I mean, I can't really go and ask the guy, you know, how he did it. But, uh, you know, what can I say, you know? No, I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, I don't know. Tough audience, I don't know. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, any any more questions or anyone? Did you have something else, sir? Well, he appears to be uh, using a 10.5 millimeter electro uh, focus new lens in the last season. Uh oh, well, what? You don't know about that either. Huh? I know about him because he was a, he was investigated for stealing a load of uh, stolen stolen lenses. Cinema you know, if it wasn't for people like cinematic camera, he wouldn't have had to leave the fucking country. You know. Well, well, that's not necessarily true. He had to leave the country for other reasons, but you know, I mean, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> what? Hey, oh. <laughs> see what you started. Hey, let's, let's have the marquee laws of rules of order here. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> We're, uh, you seem to be an expert, so do you have any other smart questions about JX? Or? We were talking about an ingenue lens. An ingenue lens? I have other questions, but... Uh, hey, let's not have a war here. This guy's freaking me out. Man. Well, I mean, what can I say? I don't know what to tell you. You know? I, I, you know Anyone? Chased him out of the country and uh, ruined his career. Of course, it's an 